So I've seen a lot of confusion online regarding iOS 14 and the new icon customization options available to users. So I wanted to create a quick video showing you how to do this and another way how to create custom icons that people aren't really talking about. Also, if you're looking for YouTube picture in picture, stick around to the end of the video for a way to re-enable it. So there are two main ways to create custom icons. The first by manually creating a Siri shortcut to open an app, and the second is using a shortcut created by a user on Reddit called Icon Themer. So starting out with the manual Siri shortcuts way, what we're gonna wanna do first is open up shortcuts and create a new shortcut by clicking the plus icon in the top right corner. Now from there, click the add action button and in the search bar that appears, search for add app. In the next page, click choose to select your app and scroll down until you found it. Now on this page, what you want to do is click the three blue dots and then you'll notice an add to home screen button. Click this. In the next page, you're going to see a screen that shows you a generic icon and a name. And if you click on the actual icon selected in blue, this is what's going to let you select your custom icon. It's going to bring up an option asking you to choose from your photo library or your files. And in this case, we'll be selecting files select your custom icon, and once that's been done, you'll notice the icon change. Now what you want to do is click on add to home screen, and if you go home, the icon is right there. Now if you want to mimic what I've done, for a cleaner look what you can do is remove the name of the icon, which I think looks far better on the home screen. Now unfortunately this process isn't seamless, and while you can add custom icons, you'll notice that when you do click the icon, it runs the shortcut and then throws you into the app. Unfortunately, as of right now, there's no way around this when you're using this method. However, that brings us to the next method, Icon Themer. Now, I haven't really seen anyone talk about this online, but I was on Reddit the other day and I saw someone post in r slash shortcuts, a subreddit for all things shortcut related, and a user created a shortcut that allows you to create custom icons using something called web clips. And I'm happy to report that this process is far more streamlined than the method I just showed you. And the other added benefit of this is that third-party apps, or at least most third-party apps, are going to open up straight away instead of running a shortcut and then hopping into the selected app. So in order to get this shortcut installed, what you want to do is head on to the link, which I'll put in the description below and add the shortcut. Once the shortcut is added, click icon themer and the process will start to begin. Now, for whatever reason, in the latest version of this shortcut, it's going to take a few seconds for the shortcut to actually run. But don't worry, this is totally normal. Now, once the shortcut is running, it will pop up with a few options. The first is search app on the app store, the next system apps, and the third custom app with bundle ID. For our purposes, we won't be really using the third option. So what you want to do is select the App Store option, and then the Icon Themer app will open up an option that lets you search the App Store. Search your desired app, in this case Twitter, and select it. Now this might be a little bit confusing, but you have to have the app installed that you're searching for. All this is doing is using the App Store to find the bundle ID, that way you don't have to do it manually. Now, once this is done, it will prompt you to choose an icon. And just like last time, we're going to choose from files, but you can also choose from photos if you like. Select the desired icon, and if prompted, just press next or done. After which, you're going to be prompted to choose the icon label. Again, I'm going to leave this blank, but you can type whatever you like there as well. From there, just select done and done once more, and the shortcut will launch you into Safari with the page asking you to allow a configuration profile. Now don't be alarmed as this program is not controlling your device in any way, it's merely using a web clip as a bookmark to your app. Click allow, then close, and then in the open web page, select the underlined click here button. What this is going to do is this will bring you to the settings app where you want to install the profile. Now again, if you're still a little cautious, go ahead and select more details and you can see that the profile is just a web clip pointing to your app. Go ahead to the main install page and select install, enter in your password and select install one more time and you're done. If you head back to your home screen, you will see your newly created app. And the great thing about this is that this opens right into the app, just like a custom icon would. Now, unfortunately, this process doesn't work as great with system apps. In fact, if you select the system app option, it's going to bring up a dialogue warning you that in order to get a seamless experience, you have to turn on reduce motion. The app still works and is still faster than using the stock icon customization option that I showed you earlier, but it will still open up a bookmark with a black page and then throw you into your app. 
Now, if you do take a look at the notes in Routine Hub, this doesn't work for all system apps and some apps will still open up shortcuts as well. So unfortunately, this process isn't fully seamless, but I still think it's better than the stock shortcuts way. Lastly, let's talk about iOS 14 and picture in picture on YouTube. Now, unfortunately, currently YouTube has disabled this option in Safari, but fortunately for us, there is a user on Reddit who has created a shortcut that allows us to re-enable this. So once you've added that shortcut, what you want to do is go to the desired YouTube video and go ahead and press the share icon on the bottom and select YouTube picture in picture and downloader. From here, you're going to be prompted with a few different options. You can select picture in picture, preview, save or save audio. And for our purposes, we're going to be selecting picture in picture. Once that's done, you'll notice your video is going to open up in a new tab and now you can swipe home and you'll have a YouTube video playing in picture in picture. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm trying a couple of different styles of videos to get more content out for y'all. So if you like this style and want to see more like it, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you want to see a far more in-depth guide on how to customize iOS 14 with widgets or maybe like a best widget series, also let me know down below. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you didn't, well, I think that other button works okay too. This is Luke with Techno Minute, and until next time, peace.